All right, welcome back to Binary Adventure. Um, this is what we're going to do this time. We're going to cover searching through different binary files. And uh, there's a couple ways you could search. Actually, there's many ways you could search, but there's a couple of ways that you're probably going to be using a lot. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you is if you are in a binary, and so in the previous videos, we did things like AFL, which will show us all functions that Radio are found in the binary. The problem with this is that there's a lot of functions in this binary, and we don't want to have to scroll through all this stuff in order to find something. So it turns out uh, Radio 2 actually has uh, the ability to pipe things through grep inside of the program, which is awesome. And so you, to do that, look down here at the prompt, and I'm just going to type AFL tilde main. And what it's going to do is going to search through all of these functions and pipe it through grep and find main. And there we go. And there's main. You can do this with any command. So if we want to search through the sections and find the uh, text section, we just do I capital S tilde dot text. And there we go. Here's our text section. And remember, if, uh, if we didn't type that, then we would have seen all these sections here. We would have had to try to find it. We don't have to worry about that uh, in Red Air 2. You can just use the tilde command. So it's uh, very, very helpful. It saves a lot of time. Now, another thing we can do is, let's say we're in the binary here, and we just want to find all calls in this particular function. What we can do is we could type colon, open up the prompt, and then we could say PDF for uh, print disassembly function, tilde call, and it's going to show us all call commands in this function. Let's say we want to search the entire binary and find all uh, comp instructions or uh, compares or CMPs. You can do forward slash, just like vim, ad forward slash comp. And it's going to show us all comp instructions. Now there's a lot of comp instructions, so maybe we want to find only comp with al. So we could do uh, forward slash ad forward slash comp al. And there we go. There's all of our uh, comps that have an al in it. And, or let's say we want to do a, a search for all uh, references or all uh, times that XOR in the binary is used. Um, now there's a lot of XORs probably. So what we want to do here is do uh, a pipe to less with tilde dot dot, just like we did in our previous videos. And here we go. See, so we're able to go down all of the XOR instructions. Now, if we wanted to see all the XOR instructions um, with a specific other um, operand or operator or something, then we could just do the same thing. And instead of doing tilde dot dot, we just do tilde and then the name of the register or um, whatever we're looking for. So any XORs with AH in it, there we go. There's one XOR with AH in it right here. So this is useful if you're trying to locate, uh, you know, like some XOR encoding or some cryptography or something like that. So you can also use these commands uh, with the question mark to get help. So til, uh, you can do uh, tilde question mark. And it'll tell you all the different things you can do with it. So another thing you can do with tilde is you can show only a certain column. So for example, if we're going to look at strings, izz, there are uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there's eight columns here, zero index, of course. So let's say we want to see only stuff in the actual strength column. We don't want to see stuff in these other columns here. So all we got to do is just do IZZ and then uh, tilde and then uh, left bracket, seven, right bracket almost like you're indexing into an array or something. And there we go. See, now we only see the seventh column. 
and you can do this with anything. So if you do, you know, sections, and let's say you only want to see the permissions. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. So what you would do is you do I capital S and then tilde and then left bracket five right bracket and there you go you see all just the permissions so super useful um, very powerful functionality that red air offers um, if you want to see this the different search commands just of course type forward slash question mark it's going to show you all different search commands at your fingertips here um, so let's say forward slash a question mark is going to show you what we use here ad and then um, there's another variant it says ad forward slash a search for every byte instruction that matches uh, instructions so similarly we can do ad forward, forward slash ad for uh, forward slash a and then we could um, look at add looks like there's a lot of head instructions so we won't print those out um, let's do XOR there we go so you have a lot of power at your fingertips in Red Air 2 when it comes to finding specific things um, and it's very fast as you can see too it doesn't take a lot of time not much loading time or anything like that so just want to show you that in this video thanks for watching and if you found this stuff helpful don't forget to subscribe I will have more videos coming